Why are verbs so important to directing and acting? Because they express behavior, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the behavior of the characters to, to tell the story, the behavior of the, of the characters in interaction with each other, their relationships, and their behavior in reaction to good news or bad news, and, um, and, and the events of the, of the plot. Um, so, and, and, and verbs are very important because they put the actor's focus on the other actor. So if I'm deciding that my character should be angry or have been told that my character is angry, then my focus is on myself. Am I angry enough? Whereas if my, I'm using the verb to punish, then I'm punishing the other person, my focus is on you. Are you punished yet? I don't know. I don't think you're punished enough. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it. Okay? And that that keeps me going, and it keeps it, it keeps the it keeps the anger crescendoing, actually, and having and not just crescendoing, but having hills and valleys, and you know, uh, ex, uh, you know, expressive expressive uh, nuance. Okay, so because I'm focused on you, on your reaction, rather than on me, am I angry enough? That's what that that's the center of why verbs are so helpful, and. So what I call the verb family, I, I put a bunch of things in there. The, uh, the, the active verbs, which you could make a list of, demand, beg, punish, seduce, flirt, encourage, right? Um, and uh, which are also called intentions. A lot of these things are used, the terms are used differently by different people. And then there's the objective, which is what the ca character wants in the scene. And so strictly speaking, the objective is what the character wants. The verb is what, or intention is what they're doing to get it. So if I want you to, um, to uh, calm down, okay, then uh, I might hint that I want you to calm down. Maybe you could lower your voice a little bit. I'm not saying this to you. Obviously, you have such a lovely, sweet voice. But uh, uh, or, but if it, uh, but what if I use the wrong verb? You know, what if I demand that you calm down? Calm down. Well, <laughs> it's a, it's a very unfortunate verb to use if you want somebody to calm down because it's you know it's like with it's like with uh, dogs, right? If dogs are barking and you and you tell them to stop barking, <laughs> you're just doing what they want you to do. They just think, oh, they like me barking. They're barking back. So um, anyway, people are like that too. And, and uh, so, so oh, demanding that somebody calm down is, 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 is foolish. It doesn't work. And yet people do it all the time. You see it all the time, certainly with their dogs, but, but, but also with, with each other, demanding that somebody uh, calm down. So people make mistakes. People act irrationally. So verbs are very helpful for finding irrational behavior. Like it would be irrational to demand that somebody calm down, but, but characters and people do it all the time. So uh, it's an opposite, right? It's opposite to the thing that, would, that will work. So uh, verbs are great for, uh, okay, but also the, so the objective and the need, and also the spine. There's a spine, a character may have a spine for the whole, for the whole, um, for the whole script. Um, and it may not it may not be the same as the as the uh, script as the plot spine. Can you explain what that is? The uh, spine. The spine. It's it's uh, it's who the person is in a kind of very basic level. I I like to say that I think that the that the a person's spine, a character's spine, is in place by the time they're eight years old. So by the time, uh, well. Uh, I had a disabled mother, which happened when I was four. So a spine of putting the needs of other people ahead of my own was just happened. I didn't choose it, but it happened, right? So those things, and they follow you throughout your life. And you can still be a very assertive person, which I am in some ways, but that there's, it's something that it, it's 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 in your 
emotional DNA. It's 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 a it's a part of you, if that makes sense. And 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 finding those things, it, it it's helpful for finding who who the character is. Who 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 are they really? So verbs, of course, work great for comedy, because and opposites because because opposites work great for comedy. So if if somebody is complaining about how they just they uh, somebody that their coworkers uh, threw them a birthday party. Yeah, they, th they threw me a birthday party. You know, that could be funny, right? Because it's inappropriate. It's an inappropriate, it's incongruous, an inappropriate uh, verb for the subject matter of the, of, that they're talking about. If we can just go back to spine for one oh, moment. Sure. I'm sorry to jump around, but no, that's fine. I, I really like that. So if we take Forrest Gump, Yep. There's two, there's actually several great spines because there's there's Forrest, there's Jenny, there's Captain Dan, or Lieutenant Dan, sorry. There, there's so, there's, there's uh, Bubba. There's so many spines, but if we just took the two main ones, so we see that Forrest, um, you know, he, he sort of has his own spine of s seeming like the one that was sort of weak, but he was actually stronger than everybody else in many, many ways, and, and, and always kind of coming out ahead and then we have the spine of Jenny who unfortunately uh, seemed to repeat itself a lot in her life um, and, and, and the mother you know played by Sally Field she had a spine of always kind of making sure that Forrest was treated fairly and that he had it good so I think I'm now I'm understanding this spine because at first I didn't know well I think I would say that Forrest, Forrest Gump's spine is to take care of people that's what I that's what strikes me. He's, he takes uh, he takes care of other people. That, that that's what he always does. It's his another way to think of it is his, it's his habitual uh, behavior is to take care of people. I don't know. That that's what just struck me. And and Jenny, of course, has a strong self destructive streak. And, you know, and sometimes people have a spine of punishing themselves for whatever reason. There's always a reason. Although, you know, of course, it could be genetic. Sometimes people are born with certain proclivities, and that becomes the way that their, their lives go. Now I'm going to start looking for the spine. I like that. It's, and it's a great analogy, too, because I think of the spine of a book almost and just... Yeah, guiding the, the important thing to remember is it's not something that the person chooses. It's, but it describes them, and it, and it can be helpful even if the character and and people don't know what their spine is. I mean, when I said that about me, I don't know if that's true. I think it is, but uh, but most of the time people don't know their own spine. They don't think about it, and um, and characters don't know their own spine. But it still can be helpful if the actor does. And it still can be a tool that a that a director, and 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 I think if a director was talking about spine with an actor, to to have it be kind of casual, you know, rather than saying, okay, let's sit down and decide what your spine is, I I I don't think that's, you know, because it starts to feel like you're filling in blanks, but but if it comes up at the scene, well, you know, if you're saying, well, you know, there's almost this sense that that. The forest spine is to take care of other people. It, it, it's an opposite because he actually needed to be taken care of himself. And of course, that brings up the, the mother. You know, it's uh, maybe she did such a good job of taking care of him that he can. He has this. He has this. Uh, this uh, model of taking care, and he has surplus uh, resources to take care of others. And I don't know, you start to feel like, okay, now I, that's a family and I, I can understand it a little bit. So just like in life, how other people show us our spine in a movie, other characters will show the protagonist. Yes, the relationships. The relationships are, are, where, are where they come out. 